All right, so I was working on a logo earlier today, and I kind of came up with this uh, really cool kind of retro chrome shader. It's it's kind of a mix of like photoreal and non-photoreal, but um, I'm gonna walk you through how I made this. Uh, so basically, what we're doing is we're sampling two different uh, texture coordinates. Um, I'm basically using the generated texture coordinates to just give me. Uh, Essentially, I'm distorting it with this noise. So I'm generating some noise, and honestly, this could be here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I like how it looks better with the object coordinates. And then I'm just ever so subtly mixing that. And so this is kind of your normal distortion right here. It's like a bump map almost, but you just want it super, super light. Uh, no more than like 0.1. Uh, and that's just going to add a bit of noise to our gradient. As you can see, it's got darker spots and lighter spots. And then what we're doing is we're taking the reflection coordinates, which is essentially texture coordinates as if it was a uh, reflection map or a skybox. And then I'm scaling those up by 50. And what that does is just, it you see, it just makes the colors a lot more intense. Uh, and essentially... It's scaling. It's it's kind of weird. It's it's basically scaling space, but it's just all vector math anyway. Uh, but what that does is gives us a much finer edge here. So you can see the line right here, and then if I go back to one, it's it's a lot more. Uh, it it just makes it a lot harsher and makes makes this work out better. So then I'm basically separating out the Y and the Z from these, and then ever so slightly mixing them together. Kind of same thing I'm doing here. Um, and you can see that what that gives us is just a very slight amount of parallax. But it's like non-photoreal parallax. Put that back to 0.01. And it just gives us very, very subtle parallax. Then once we actually take this and turn it into a gradient, um, we're getting... So yeah, then you can just plug in basically any gradient you want, uh, and it gives you all these really cool kind of chrome patterns. And then if with the parallax, you actually get a little bit of faked reflections. Uh, and then the last thing I did is I just kind of connected up with this add shader, and I have just this principled BSDF node, and all it's doing is just giving me reflections. Uh, and so if I go to my world shader, um, I'm just doing a really simple, just kind of lighting setup. I use this for a lot of things uh, if I just want moving lights. So basically I have animated the X and Y of a Voronoi noise. If I switch here, you can see the noise kind of moving around. So then I take the distance value here and I clamp that down so I get like these kind of spotlights. And then I'm using that to get like super bright and then I'm mixing it back in with the color. And so that just gives me these kind of spotlights that are orbiting around everything. And so when you mix that together, you get this really cool kind of shimmering retro chrome look. And I think this looks super cool. And then you can play around with the gradients and try a bunch of different stuff. This one looks like old school kind of uh, word art in Photo, uh, not Photoshop, it was like uh, PowerPoint in Microsoft Word. It's got a real synth wavy looking one. One that looks more like metal. But I like this one right here because it reminds me of Transformers. So, yeah, super quick little tutorial. It's just something I came up with today and thought it was super cool. I wanted to share it.